Hey guys, Kevin here. Thought I'd do a quick video for my phone and talk about how I'm going to be progressing the channel over the next while. Now I've touched upon this before in a video and you know, for YouTube, for any YouTube channel, what you need to do is create content. You need to upload a lot of videos, good videos. Um, but with a technology channel, the entry point for you know, for being a good channel is a little bit higher because I could sit by my computer all day long and just report news, which, you know, I do sometimes. But what I would like to do is focus more on the practical side of things and do more product reviews. What that means is I need to spend money. And the position I am with my channel not being, you know, the biggest, it's still growing, it's a young channel. Um, if I go to companies, phone companies, camera companies, that kind of thing, they aren't going to give me a reply because for them to give out, uh, you know, any kind of technology for reviews on YouTube, they need a good return. I can't give them a good return just now, not really. And um, they're really going to work with the top YouTubers, which means that, you know, what I've done in the past, I've, whenever I've reviewed an expensive item, it's something that I've bought for myself that I've needed. For example, the HTC U11 that I'm, I'm recording with just now. Um, but the lower priced items, a lot of them I bought for myself. Anything over, you know, under £20, I just kind of buy right away. But there was a lot of kind of cheaper items that were sent to me. I'm getting a lot of approaches from Chinese companies and they'll say, oh, we'll, we'll send you this for review. Now, most of the time, I don't want to review, uh, review these things. I want to focus more on the higher end products, more practical products. But obviously, I'd like to get to the point where I can get phones, all these latest technology sent to me for review. I'm not there yet, so what I need to do is spend money. Tomorrow I'm getting the OnePlus 5 delivered. It's a new phone, it cost me £500, which is a little bit cheaper than the U11, which cost me 600 And the idea is that when I buy new phones like this, I'm going to buy them, I'm going to do you know, several videos, test them as much as I can, and then I'm going to sell them back. Now I know that a lot of people suggested to me that you could just return them to the shops, but I don't want to get blacklisted, you know, and just, you know, go around all the phone shops and then get a bad reputation for returning phones. Um, selling is a pain in the ass. This is why I've not been down this route before. It, it, it's just something that annoys me. Last year when I sold the action camera, the buyer said it was uh, broken when it wasn't, said it was damaged. There's nothing you can do. You send uh, your camera there, it comes back broken and you're screwed. This happened to my ex-girlfriend as well. She sold a phone and she actually had to sell it twice through eBay the first time. Two and a half months later, the guy returned the phone saying it was broken, the light was constantly on. And it was literally two seconds in, settings, turn the light off. That's all it was. And yet, eBay and PayPal give that guy you know, the right to return it. So I'd like to avoid eBay um, and maybe just walk into a shop like CEX in the UK, take a hit in it. It might mean... Spending five hundred pounds on a phone and selling it for four hundred or four twenty or whatever within a week or two. It's just unfortunately the price I need to pay in order to get the technology, to get the phones, to get the cameras, to get anything that I want to review on my channel. It's just what I need to do. Um so I mean I will I do get requests sometimes and you guys say, could you review this phone, could you review that phone? And I would like to accommodate that more, but Please understand, obviously, that, you know, for me, all of this is coming out of my pocket. Running at 100% loss. I'm not making any really real money out of it yet. Um, but I really like what I'm doing. I really, I know that I'm not the best YouTuber out there. I know there's a lot to learn about recording. Uh, recording. <laughs> I've just made up a new word. About recording, about editing, or recording, as I called it there. Recording, editing, audio, all those things. Um, there's a lot of things to learn. And I think... I will get a little bit better in some respects, but I also think that there's a lot of people who just aren't going to like what I, what I do. And that's just the nature of YouTube, that, you know, the reach that YouTube has means that there's always going to be people that don't like what I do and there will be those who do. Uh, I was speaking to my brother about this the other day and, you know, I don't think he's got a, a great understanding of how YouTube channels work and things like that. And he was saying, how, how can you be successful on YouTube when there's so many people out there that are successful and I, you know I think this is something a lot of people um, wonder about but I think when you know a lot of people are going this way maybe I'll go the other way because I think 
the type of videos that I do don't appeal to everyone. When you've got someone, like Marquis Brownlee is one of the best YouTubers out there, I've got a lot of respect for him. His videos are very polished, you know, fantastic um, editing footage, all that kind of thing. But his videos tend to be more of a kind of overview of a phone, where I'd like to do longer videos, more in depth. Now, everyone isn't looking for that, clearly. Everyone isn't looking for that. But I know that some people are. And I know that when I'm looking for a new phone, I look at the more in-depth reviews. It's the same when I'm buying something else, something expensive, like a TV, a laptop, anything like that. I tend to move towards the videos that are a little bit more in-depth. Now, a lot of people do think those videos are very boring. I've had a lot of comments on certain videos where people would say, way too long. Most videos should be four minutes long, four minutes long. And my video was like 40 minutes long. But then equally, there's a lot of people who say, thanks for that, that's exactly what I was needing. You showed something that others didn't. And I tend to lean towards those people, the people that saying that, thank you for that, because I'm not, I'm not trying to be different for the sake of it, but I'm trying to make the videos that I like and the, the videos that I find useful. And I don't want to just, you know, a lot of these kind of overview videos that show you about, this is the Samsung SA, they can do this, they can do this, and it's very polished and very good. But a lot of the time, I don't feel that it tells you much more than what you get in the specifications page or the features page. And I'd like to demonstrate more exactly what it can do. I'm not the best at it, but um, hopefully you'll get a, you've got a better understanding of why I'm doing certain things when I'm recording videos. But I've got the OnePlus 5 coming tomorrow. I'm going to do a lot of videos of it over the next week or so. Looks like a good phone. There are compromises with it. You know, it doesn't have a micro SD slot. It doesn't have water resistance. There's other things like that. Um, but it does have 8 gig eight gigabytes of RAM in a phone, which is insane. Has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is good. Um, so, you know, I don't know about the camera yet. Someone said in the comment area that it's mixed reports, but we'll see how it goes. What happens after the OnePlus 5? Well, it depends. Um, I might give it to my brother, because um, I gave him the Nexus, but the, the Google Nexus 6P, the battery life on it is nearly dead because it's been there for years. But after that, there's going to be other phones coming out. So say in a month, you know, maybe the Samsung, the next Samsung Note will be coming out. We've also got the iPhone and that later on in the year. And what I'd like to do is just buy these phones, review them, do as much as I can, and and then I'll sell them on. I'd like to keep them. I think it'd be good to keep phones for comparison purposes. But if, you know, if I buy a phone and then sell it and I only lose £100, if I keep those phones, well, they're always losing value for one. But, you know, if I spend 500, 600 pounds on a phone each time. By the end of the year, I will have spent about 10 grand on this channel. And it's, it's just not an expense that I can really justify at this point in my YouTube journey or career, whatever you call it. But give me your feedback, guys. I'd like to hear what you think about all this. You can, you know, if there's something that you like me to review, I will do my best and try and fit it in. Um, I'd like to do more reviews of Chinese phones as well. I think that's a whole new market and it's, you know, it's a, something very interesting. Um, and yeah, do what you can to support it. I do appreciate the comments and, and you can see that I do respond to the comments as much as I can. I do appreciate those who like and share and subscribe to the channel as well. Um, but my, you know, it's one of those things. It is, with YouTube, a lot of my videos, bizarrely the most successful ones are sometimes the ones with a lot of dislikes, sometimes the ones with not a lot of comments. It's kind of weird the way YouTube works. Um, thanks for watching guys, I thought I'd just do this video just to kind of explain where I am just now but over the next couple of months I've kind of made a decision that I'm going to buy the latest phones or anything else that piques my interest, action cameras, anything like that, buy it and then try and sell it and just make a loss in it and hopefully the growth and subscribers and things like that will justify me that um, pain for that. Thanks for watching anyways, I uh, appreciate your feedback on this guys and stay tuned tomorrow because I'm looking at the wrong camera. This, this is the problem. I'm looking at my phone when the camera is there. See, I'm looking down here. The camera's up there. Um, I've got the OnePlus 5 coming tomorrow, so I'll do an unboxing for that. So please stay uh, tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thanks for watching.